there are fundamentally two ways to see people. We can see them as people or we can see them as objects. Now let's dive into this. One way we can see people is as human beings. This is people as people. This is people who experience joy, that have pain, that suffer loss, that have fear, they, they, they love. And, and yes, even those little quirks that make us unique, people are people who we get frustrated with. We have good days and bad days, just like you and me. Well, the second way that we can see people is as objects. And this is probably where we need to pause and reflect. Sometimes without even realizing it, we might start seeing people as objects. And they're likely one of these three types of objects, obstacles, vehicles, or just irrelevant. So let's look at each one of these. First, obstacles. What do we do with an obstacle? Well, we maneuver around them to get what we want, right? This, and maybe this person is just in my way. I've got to get around them like a chair that's in our way, blocking us from walking towards something that we want. What do we do? We just move the chair or we step over it or we step around it as fast as we can to get past this obstacle that's in our way. That's the first way we turn people into objects is potentially an obstacle. Second is a vehicle. And we use vehicles to get to a destination that we want. And sometimes we use people as vehicles to get what we want as well. Well, this person is just gonna help me get what I want, so I'm gonna use them like a car and, and to get to the destination I wanna be at. And there's an experience that comes to my mind that I'm not super proud of, but I'm gonna share with you to illustrate the point. I remember being at my sixth grade dance. This first thought that comes to my mind here. And I wanted to dance with this one girl, but I was super intimidated. So what I did was I, I found somebody that I wasn't intimidated by and I went and I danced with that, the, the girl that I, that I didn't really care about, I didn't have feelings for, I didn't have the hots for, I wasn't, didn't have a crush on. But then what I did is I went as close as I could and I made sure that she saw me. And as I think back on this, my goal and intention was to be seen by the other girl that I liked and I wanted her to see me. It's kind of sad to say, but I used the girl as a vehicle to get what I wanted, which, which was to be noticed by the girl I liked. And so as human beings, we do this type of thing in, in professional settings as well, all the time. Sometimes consciously, sometimes unconsciously, where we use somebody as a vehicle to get what we want. The third type of object is perhaps the most destructive type that, that we turn people into objects and do this to each other, which is that they're just irrelevant to us. This person doesn't even matter to us. Now, have you ever felt from somebody in your life that you didn't matter to them? What was it like working with them? Now, do the people that you work with and the clients you serve, do they feel seen by you? In your presence, do they feel like they matter? We honor people in the way that we see them as the wonderful, complicated, and yes, sometimes challenging human beings that they are, and by showing them in big and small ways that they matter. My friend Tyler Bryson is an executive at Microsoft, and he told me that the Microsoft team attributes their unbelievable turnaround, 10xing the company's valuation over the last decade, to an awareness of the outward mindset, seeing people as people, and the growth mindset focused on personal and professional growth. Now, people who feel seen, People who feel value, people who feel good about themselves produce good results. And how we make people feel around us makes a huge difference, not only in the work that we do every day together, but also in our everyday lives. And I challenge you to choose intentionally to see the people around you as they are, as human beings. Not as an obstacle in your way, or as a vehicle to get what you want, or as irrelevant, they don't even matter to you, and turning them into objects. When you see their humanity, somebody that you serve, a client that you work with, a team member, and when you treat them with respect, everybody benefits.